Peeps, Kenny Molotov here in the studio, and I haven't spoken to you in a long time, and I just wanted to kind of sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart with you, let you know what's going on in my life. It's nothing tragic. I know I've given you a couple of updates like this over the past couple of years where it's a little bit on the sad side, but it's nothing like that. More of an update of just what's happening and the direction I see the channel going in in the next couple of months to maybe years depending so a brief overview of what's going on with me i have my own plumbing company that i'm currently trying to build but it's a very slow process in that and that being said you know the ball really hasn't started rolling as fast as i needed to be rolling to be on my own completely and to be honest right now in this season it is extremely slow to the point where i just finished teaching a pre-apprenticeship program and the final stage of the pre-apprenticeship program is supposed to be us putting these students into placements and it's been tremendously difficult to find placements for these individuals which is kind of tragic because we have a lot of really strong minds and willing individuals that want to get into the market that currently can't on top of that i have some friends that own their own plumbing companies and they've been slower than usual and i've been talking to a couple of suppliers and the suppliers are saying the same thing which is most people are tremendously slow so it's just that sort of kind of season right now the market is a little bit on a dip on the downward fall and that might be an indication of some form of recession or whatnot I'm, I'm not sure I'm not an expert at reading markets but it feels like there's something financially going on where people are holding on to their money right now at least in the residential sphere that's all basically a long way to say it's a little bit slow and I don't see it picking up very quickly in the near future but again I'm doing my best and that's the game plan going forward I want to own my own plumbing company and be able to live off of that plumbing company at some point. The second thing I wanted to kind of tell you was more to do with the content that I bring out. I'm very passionate about vlogging. I feel like I get a lot of information out in the vlogs that is very useful to people and more importantly, I genuinely enjoy doing vlogs. Sitting down and doing a vlog for me is very, you know, arts-based for me and, and that's really what I need to kind of get out of me in order to feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. So there's a passion that I have towards vlogging that is unprecedented in the other kinds of content that I bring out for the channel or that I've brought out for the channel in the past. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because the big crux of the issue for me is that I don't have enough work to successfully and sustainably continue doing vlogs in a consistent basis. And the problem I have with that is that if I continue just doing that form of content, I'm I'm not going to be able to bring out much content to you and that's really why it's been slow from my end of things because my plumbing company is not very busy and because of that i can't record vlogs in other words the second thing i want to say is that the other plumbing company that i work with they don't have permission to walk into the places that we walk into with recording devices so i don't want to put them in a situation where you know they can get in trouble because i bring in some recording devices you know to respect their wishes and also the rules that were put upon them i'm not going to do that they've treated me really well thus far and i don't want to jeopardize my relationship with them my vlogging and my youtube channel is my own pursuit and that's why again it just reinforces the fact that i really need to get the ball rolling for my own company so over the past few months i've been really coming up with a solution to this problem and the solution that i have i am essentially going to switch up the types of content that we have on the channel yes i will continue doing vlogs especially when I'm able to record vlogs for my own company. But I'm also gonna do more of these sit down sessions where I can sit down, talk to you about a topic, expand upon it, get you to understand it or attempt to make you understand it through my knowledge and whatnot. And the advantages for this is that I can get consistent content out there for you. I'm gonna be making a few moves in the near future where I'm hoping where we can change the outcome of what my company is and hopefully make it a little busier in the long run. And that might be a series that I think about doing as well. I, I hope that I can at some point show you guys and gals what things I've, I've been putting into place in order to get more work sort of thing. So, you know, that's just some food for thought going forward. There's going to be a little bit different content that you normally see. But it's a content that I was putting out before the past couple of years, I should say. I kind of committed to this vlogging thing. But before I was vlogging, I was doing this sort of content to begin with. So I do feel at the same time, 
that a lot of you have come to the channel because of that content, because of these sit down sessions where I just speak my mind and tell you my experiences in the trade. And that's basically it. That's the update I wanted to give you. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna just kind of tease you with is that I have a few projects in the loop. I have a few buns in the oven and I have some things that I'm very excited about being able to talk to you about in the next couple of months or so. We are also rolling up to 10,000 subscribers very soon. We're at 9,963 9, as I'm recording this. So a lot of big things. 10,000 was a very big milestone and is a very big milestone for me. So I hope that we can maybe sit down, do a Q&A or something like that. So a couple of really exciting things for the future. In regards to you plumbers out there, I really hope that you are busy with your work, that your careers are growing and you're enjoying the things that you're doing. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys have been. And again, as, as always, I appreciate all the love and support that I've gotten over the years. And I really do hope to be a more consistent kind of uploader on YouTube for plumbing in general. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you know exactly when we're getting videos. Smash that thumbs up, share with friends, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby.